Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina reiterated Bangladesh's firm commitment to remain engaged with the United Nations in its efforts towards preventing conflict and establishing peace in the world. Bangladesh always remains ready to contribute troops and police in response to the UN's call for strengthening world peace and stability, she said. The Prime Minister made the remark when visiting UN Under Secretary General for the Department of Peacekeeping Operations, Jean Pierre Lacroix, made a courtesy call on her at her Jatiya Shangshat office this evening. After the call on, Press Secretary Isanul Karim briefed the reporters. Sheikh Hasina said Bangladesh also remains prepared to support the UN peacekeeping capability readiness steps. While talking about the Rohingya issue, Sheikh Hasina pointed out Bangladesh's foreign policy of friendship to all, malice to none, and said Bangladesh wants to maintain peace with all. At the meeting, the UN Under Secretary General highly praised the role of Bangladeshi peacekeepers, including the female troops and the police, in maintaining peace at UN missions in different parts of the world. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina putting emphasis on establishing regional communication among the neighboring countries said that the connectivity is very much important. She said this while the newly appointed ambassador of Nepal, Professor Dr. Chop Lal Pusal, called on her at her office this morning. Press Secretary to the Prime Minister Ihsanul Karim briefed the reporters after the call on. He said that the Prime Minister has offered the Syedpur Airport of Bangladesh for use by Nepal and Bhutan. In this connection, she said that Bangladesh and India is, resum is resuming the railroads that was snapped after Indo Pak War in 1965. Nepalese Ambassador Professor Dr. Chop Lal Pusal conveyed the greetings of Nepalese Prime Minister to Sheikh Hasina. The ambassador said that Nepal has the potential to produce 50,000 megawatt power and Bangladesh and Nepal are in talks for cooperation in this sector. Principal Secretary M. Nojibur Rahman was present in the meeting. Chief of Army Staff General Abu Belal Mohammad Shofil Haq made a farewell call on President Mohammad Abdul Hamid at Bangu Bhavan this afternoon. Later, President's Press Secretary John Al Abidin briefed reporters. During the meeting, the outgoing Army Chief expressed his sincere gratitude to the President for giving necessary directives and extending cooperation during his tenure. He also praised the President of different development activities of Bangladesh Army. President Abdul Hamid thanked outgoing Chief of Army Staff General Abu Belal Mohammad Shofiul Haq for completion of his tenure successfully. The President also lauded different strategic development activities of the outgoing Army Chief and said during his tenure the image of Bangladesh Army has brightened across the world. Secretaries to the President were present. Outgoing Chief of Army Staff General Abu Bilal Mohammad Shafir Haq made a farewell call on Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina at her office today. Press Secretary to the Prime Minister Isanur Karim said during the meeting they discussed the issues of development of Bangladesh Army. The Prime Minister appreciated the Army Chief for discharging his duties successfully. General Bilal expressed his gratitude to the Prime Minister for extending all support for development of Bangladesh Army and performing his duties as its Chief. A total of 6,11,184 posts have been created in the revenue sector in different categories to reduce unemployment problem of the country in the last nine years. Public Administration Minister Sayyidah Shaful Islam told this while replying to a question in the Parliament that was tabled. Earlier, the sitting of the House resumed in the afternoon with Speaker Dr. Shirin Sharmin Chaudhry in the chair. Replying to a question, Fisheries and Livestock Minister Narayan Chandra Chondo informed the House that about 63,734 metric tons of fish and fisheries goods worth 3,982 crore taka have been exported to different countries from Bangladesh till May in the current fiscal. In response to a question, Water Resources Minister Anwar Hussain told the House that the government has taken an initiative to make the Burigonga River pollution free through increasing its water flow. Later, a general discussion was held on proposed budget for 2018-2019 fiscal. 
Participating in the discussion, members of the parliament told the House that every budget of the present government has been implemented and the proposed budget will also be implemented. Taking part in the discussion, the parliament members told the House that foreign investment and per capita income have been increased and poverty reduced in the country in the last nine years. They said that the nation is marching ahead to achieve the targets of 2021 and 2041. Parliament members told the House that Sheikh Hasina's government implements mega projects while BNP does mega corruption. They said that BNP is the anti-development force while Sheikh Hasina is the ambassador of peace. Deputy Speaker Fazlira Bimia also presided over the session. BNP is conspiring targeting the next general election. Spokesperson of 14-party alliance and health and family welfare minister Mohammad Nasim made the remark at a meeting of 14-party at his Jatiyo Shongshul office today. President of Bangladesh Workers' Party Rashid Khan Menon, General Secretary of Bangladesh Shamobadi Dal Dilip Borua, President of Tarikat Federation Nazibul Bashar Maiz Bhandari, Presidium Member of Konotontri Party Professor Dr. Shohidullah Shikdar, Convener of Bashod, Reza Rashid Khan, and Organizing Secretary of Jashod, Ubaidur Rahman Chunnu, among others, were present. Mohammad Nasim warned that if BNP men try to create anarchy again with fire terrorism, the government will take stern action against them. He urged the leaders and workers of 14 party alliance to work unitedly in upcoming city corporations election to establish secularism and spirit of liberation war. All types of preparation of the electoral campaign of Ghazipur City Corporation polls will end from midnight today as the election is scheduled to be held on Tuesday. Ghazipur election returning officer Rakib Uddin Mondol told that a total of 29 platoon of BGB have been deployed in Ghazipur City ahead of the polls. He said the BGBs were deployed at different parts of the city this morning to avert any untoward incident. The voting will be held at 425 polling centers in this city corporation. Seven candidates are contesting for the post of mayor. Besides, 254 candidates are contesting for 57 ward councillor posts and 84 women candidates for 19 reserve seats. A total of 11 lakh voters are expected to cast their votes in the upcoming polls. Meanwhile, the government has declared general holiday on June 26 in Ghazipur City, centering the Ghazipur City Corporation polls. Visiting UN Under Secretary for Peacekeeping Mission, General Jean Pierre Lacroix made a courtesy call on Foreign Minister Abul Hassan Mahmoud Ali at the State Guest House Podda today. During the meeting, they held a detailed discussion on Bangladesh's participation in UN peacekeeping. Talking to newsmen after the meeting, Jean-Pierre Lacroix was full of appreciation for Bangladesh's activities in UN peacekeeping. Now, international news. Polls have closed in the Turkish elections where voters are deciding whether to grant President Recep Tayyip Erdogan a second five-year term. Erdogan has faced a tough battle with Muharram Inse, a center-left candidate who has energized the opposition. Casting his own vote, the president claimed there had been a high turnout. First results are due later today. If Erdogan wins, he will adopt major new powers that critics say will weaken democratic rule. He is hoping to get more than 50% of the vote in this ballot to avoid going to a second round. As well as the presidency, voters are also choosing members of parliament. Turkey remains under a state of emergency imposed in the aftermath of a failed coup in July 2016. 
White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders was kicked out of a restaurant on Friday night because she works for President Donald Trump. A co-owner of the Red Hen in Lexington, Virginia asked Ms. Sanders and her family to leave as a protest against the Trump administration. Stephanie Wilkinson said she believed Ms. Sanders worked for an inhuman and unethical administration. So the women are officially allowed to get behind the wheel after a decades-old driving ban was lifted. The change was announced last September and Saudi Arabia issued the first licenses to women earlier this month. It was the only country left in the world where women could not drive and families had to hire private chauffeurs for female relatives. However, the move comes amid an intensified crackdown on activists who campaigned for the right to drive. Bangladeshi members of UN peacekeepers deserve condemnation as they are leaving a trail of skill in discharging their duties. UN Under Secretary General for Peacekeeping General John Pierre Lacroix said this at a press briefing in the capital today. Citing contribution of Bangladeshi women peacekeepers, General Lacroix said Bangladesh and United Nations will work together in peacekeeping around the world.